thought it might be worth sharing you something called Objective, which is an add-on to our Archicad written by a person called Ralph Wessel. He used to work at Graphisoft and uh, make some fantastic applications. Objective is created directly from an application called Framerite, and it was an it was it was built for um, timber frame um, manufacturer and everything else in Archicad, but it's got some fantastic functions in it, which will enable you to do things like uh, ro automatic rotations in section views and plan views, the kind of things that Archicad just can't do, and things that we've been crying out for for years. So what I'll do now is I'll just show you the kind of things that it can do, and it's, it's relatively cheap for the UK users. We're just in a process of trying to get an agreement with him as far as shipping it with for, for US customers at a, at a price, which we haven't arranged with him yet. But you can obviously buy it from his website. So anybody outside the UK can go to encina.co.uk and obviously then go and, and purchase it. Okay, it's relatively cheap. Okay, so what you get is an add-on, which is on the top uh, toolbar at the top. So on the top pull-down menu. And we've got three different sort of areas, which is component assembly and tools. And you also get an icon down here, which is called framing. And the framing really enables you to place down certain components. So for instance, if we go to here, you get two libraries. You get a framework, which is steel, so standard steel components. And you can see the quality of a lot of his, his uh, icons. It's, it's absolutely amazing. He's, he's a really good GDL programmer and C++ programmer. And uh, we've also got a load of timber frame objects as well. So if we just pick just a standard object in here, just a rectilinear piece of timber, and say OK, what we can do is drop it in on the plan. OK, these are objects that have been created by his, his add-on, but they, they react in Archiab really, very well. He's, he's programmed the hotspots in, you know, very intelligently. But the big advantage here is that we can start now chopping parts off it. So if we go to Objective here and Tools, you've got Rotate and Split. So the first thing we can do is say maybe split this end off here. So we just draw using Archicad now, and we click the other side we want to split, like we do with a with a roof or a you know a section and everything else. And we can choose to either keep the two components or delete them. So the one that's selected, we said just delete. So now we just chopped an end off that, and it, it, you can trim it in any kind of uh, position. Now if we select it, we can also then go to Tools and Rotate, and we can pick this up and we can rotate it in the view 90 degrees. So now in Plan View, now we've rotated the object. And what we can do now is start to now start uh, splitting it in the plan view now. So if we then just chop another piece off here, okay, let's delete that part. And maybe we want to rotate this now back through, say, maybe 45 degrees. So we'll just go back through 45 degrees here. And maybe we want to trim this end piece off here. So we just have it to all split. Just trip that part off there. And then we'll select it again and just rotate it back to its original position. So we just do that by 45 degrees again. So this was where we were originally uh, at. And you can see it's placed all the hot spots on the trim locations. And if you go to the 3D view and zoom extent, you can see our component here, which is all trimmed up. So it enables you to pull it around in any kind of view. Now it does a lot more than that, and I think that uh, you know, I probably should have shown this earlier, but if we... You could have uh, told me before I did the introduction. Yeah. <laughs> can, can I ask, what happens if you made a mistake and you want to untrim and retrim? Um, just undo, I think. So let's just, I don't know what you can do. Or, you, can, you can do you can do an objective and you can say, undo all the uh, trims. So you can say, remove cuts. So we'll take it back to its original, so... Um, can but, you cut That's coming. Oh, that was the first question I asked him when uh, we were looking into it. I said, can you do a polyline and curve it? And, and he says it's coming. And he, I spoke okay. to him the other day and he said it's not far off. So he's just got to sort that out. Um, but not only that, but you can also use it to create components. So like uh, with um, the profile manager inside uh, Archicad, what we can do is we can draw using fills. So if we've just got a standard component here, we can then add a uh, hotspot in, say, a point here. Pull this point over, say, over here. And that's a bit of that uh, drag. Let's just drag it across so it's actually on. And then we'll then pull this area in with a curve, and I don't know why it's not curving. Let's just try that again. There we go. So if we've got something like that and we want to create a profile out of it, then we've got it selected. We can go to Component, New Profile, and we can specify the height of the extrusion of the object initially. And then we can specify whether we want to create a lathe, uh, a section or an elevation. The section will, will determine the angle of the, uh, the material on the object. So if we do do a section here at 8 metres and say OK, and I'll have to give it another name, so we'll give it a name 3, say OK. And then we specify the location, the anchor point of the object. 
So that's actually generated a, there we go, a profiled object. So we drag that to a new location over here, for instance. And then we can use all the standard tools that you've already seen, like uh, uh, tools and rotate. We can just rotate that around our 90 degrees here. And you can see if we go straight to our 3D view again with it selected, here's our object. Now that obviously then uh, uh, goes into your library. So here's our library objects here. You can actually see these ones we've created. So you can specify the, the lengths of them and everything else. But it may be that we want to place this on the edge of um, maybe this, uh, this, this roof here. So if we drag this to a location and place it over here, and then open up the section view. And so what we've got here is here's our, and ignore the stuff in the background because that's the Ecotech stuff I'm going to show you in a bit. But here's our roof plane here, and here's our object we've just created. So we can do all the standard kind of things like let's move this to, oops, let's just move this to a different location. So we'll just place this on that location there. And again, this is section view, remember? So we can then now go to objective, tools, rotate. And we can pick our points to rotate the object by. Rotate it up to here. Okay, maybe we want to move that. Uh, but, but also, if you wanted to trim that, you can do all that in this view as well. So objective, tools, split. So we just pick on this point here. Click on over here, and then just save the link. You can see it, it just trims it up. So you've got the ability to really do this in any kind of view you really want. Okay, so it's just a case of like literally having the objects trimming around, and you can do that with all the steel sections as well. Now, on top of that, it may be that uh, you want to then create assemblies. So if we again go to just something like our rectilinear section, we just place one down, and we'll just rotate this one, oops, like so. Maybe we want to connect this one over to this point here. So the common problem is, is if, if we've got a, a couple of objects that we create as an assembly, if we want to edit them and they're in a different rotation angle, it's rather difficult to do that. So we, what we can do is we can go into our objective component area here, uh, sorry, our assembly, and we can say create a new uh, assembly. So we, we specify the assembly and then click the origin point for it. So then it almost groups them together like this. We can then set different standard views for these. So we can say set the plan home view, which is that one there. And then we can run all our tools like um, rotate, for instance. And we can say let's now rotate this object by, let's do it, objective. I think you just need to generate a few icons as well. So we'll just generate this and rotate this around by a certain angle. So now we've taken this object and we've rotated it around, and this could now be our objective, uh, sorry, assembly, uh, set the model, model uh, home. So this could be the view that we wanted to finish up in, but when we're editing it, we don't want to edit it in, in this view, because maybe we want to edit it orthographically and be able to trim off the elements without taking it at an angle. So with that menu now, we can very quickly go to assembly and say go to plan, and it then just flips the object into a plan view, which we can then trim, and then once we've finished, then just you know, take it back to the, uh, the model view. So it remembers the two locations. So to do that, all we do then is go to assembly, and uh, we can basically um, do, again, split the same kind of way. We can split the object. What it does, obviously, I should have detached it first because it split it right the way through. It's just a, a cutting line. But if I go to my... Uh, uh, View here, I can delete these parts off, and then take this to back to uh, the main view. We can then go back to our model home. Ah, uh, hang on a second. Should have just uh, set an update. There we go. Now we can go back to our model home. Ah, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have detached it, and it would have been okay. But but that's that's the idea behind objective. So. The idea really is, is to give you a, sort of a, a free view of being able to drag around things, cut, cut objects, and, and work with, with surfaces relative ease. So it, 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 would, it would negate that uh, reason of putting those objects to do um, solid element operations that you saw with, uh, with uh, Matthew's demonstration, so make it easier to do those type of things. Is that something that's pretty good? Yep. Okay. okay. Before we move on, 